What if I told you that your new Windows computer is not as fast and clean as it could be? That's because it has bloatware, the unnecessary software that comes pre-installed on your computer and severely impacting the performance. Bloatware can make your computer slower, use more battery power and waste your storage space, spoiling your user experience. For example, some computers have a trial version of antivirus installed that is not effective and doesn't last long. Don't worry, I have some good solutions for you to get rid of bloatware. In this video, I'll show you how to detect and delete bloatware from your system in a few easy steps. After doing these steps, you'll notice how much smoother your computer will be. So stay with me and let's get started. When you look into the apps from the start menu, you'll be shocked to see how much garbage is added to our computers. Unless you're a user of these apps, I recommend you to uninstall them by right-clicking on each one. This is one of the simplest ways to remove the bloatware. Next, let's talk about some apps that come with Windows. Do you really need them all? For example, if you use your computer for work or studies only and you don't game, then apps like Xbox Game Bar, Xbox Live, etc. should be removed. When you use the conventional uninstallation method, you'll notice some of them don't show the option to do so or aren't visible in the control panel. That's where the third-party apps like Bullcrap Uninstaller, Revo Uninstaller come in handy as they're able to brute force the uninstallations of apps and services that are often hard to delete. Both these programs do a great job in filtering out the apps that you've installed and Windows apps or services that can pre-installed. Moreover, they provide a backup feature that should be used before removing an app which can be helpful in case you encounter any issue post uninstallation related to system boot or app related failure or anything else. This is a useful addition as it will help you restore to your old settings. I've been using both of them for quite some years and I can assure you they do the job perfectly. Another good option you can try is command prompt. With it, you can use a command line to uninstall almost any kind of bloatware. To do this, you can either use the winget command that will provide you a list of all the software and from there on, you can type in the specific commands mentioning each software you want to remove. You can learn more about this in a video I created some time back that will make it easy for you to understand the working of it. You can click in the top right corner to watch that video. Staying in command prompt, a better command line than Winget is DISM, which stands for Deployment Image Service and Management. This is a more powerful tool that can help to specifically remove Windows apps and services. Similar to Winget, we will first generate a list of apps and services installed. Type in this command and hit enter. Now copy the app's package name you want to delete. Replace the word get with remove and in the package name, we will paste the copy text. Hit enter and it will quickly remove the software or service from your computer. Isn't that amazing? Both Winget and DISM tool are very good for this, but DISM has a much better chance in removing a Windows related app or service. Finally, when installing apps from websites like Adobe or others, watch out for bloatware that are often bundled with your software. In most cases, people don't pay close attention to the fine print or small checkboxes that are selected by default. Unless they are useful, you should uncheck them and then proceed with the download or installation process. There you have it. These were some of the ways you can remove any kind of bloatware from your system. Before going on a spree of removing apps and services, go through each of them carefully and in future, if you ever feel the need to use any of the deleted apps, you can always reinstall them from the Microsoft App Store. Alright then, that is all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching and if you found it useful, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.